Hello guys, welcome back to another new section. This is section 5, looping and branching. The first video we're going to look at loops, for and why loops. We're also going to take a look at branching, if, then, else, and case statements. We're also going to look at combining loops and branches, nested loops and branches. In the fourth video, we're going to look at branching and argument and example in its script. And the last video, we're going to take a look at topic slash concept 5 title. Alright, moving on. Our first video, loops and while loops all right loops allows us to take a series of commands and keep rerunning them until a particular situation is reached the next point is they are useful for automating repetitive tasks let's go straight to our terminal this is our terminal over here now the first thing we need to understand about loops now all loops in bash programming language statements allows us to code repeatedly when executed now a for loop is classified as an iteration statement which is a repetition of process within the bash script. We're going to be creating a simple bash for loop script. And also we're going to be looking at a while loop script. But let's look at a for loop script using a nano. Let's say for loop dot sh. Let's start with a shebang. The bean and bash. Let's name this let's say for loop script. Alright. Start this, let's start the names. After doing that, let's add four. I want you to understand what we did here is we create a simple list, which is a series of names. For the next line, we're gonna be say four name in now what we did here is we assign names to the item variable name. Then after doing that, let's add a do. This echoes the name of the four of the names to the screen. So after doing that, done, all, done. Now, this shows that the bash could continue the execution normally. So let's save it to O, to X, ALS. Now we need to modify this. Uh, yeah, first one we have James, second one we have Blues, the next one we have John, and we have Paul. Now, let's clear this up. Now, the next one we're going to look at is the while loop. Now, the bash while loop is a control flow statement that allows code or commands to be repeatedly based on a given condition. So, we're going to be looking at a simple while loop script. Let's see a while. Let's say a loop. Let's use our text editor. While. That is done. Let's add a shebang. So let's add the script. Script. Then after adding the script, we're going to be starting with a counter. Let's counter. Here we initialize the variable counter to one. Then the next one we say while. Let's add a dollar sign. Let's the while we test this true. Test case if do call me again. This will value of one. So let's done. Then I'll do teacher zero. Teacher X. Let's modify. Let's check it. X. That's what we let's take a look at script. Alright, the first one you can see we initialize variable counter. The next one we test it actually true. Then the other part, which is the echo counter, here we the echo is being as straight. And the next one is we increase the value by one. And done. Now run the script all over again. It worked. Check the script. That's all for this video, guys.